you go to YouTube and you click to log in to your channel. Go to my channel. When you're in my channel, you click on the create a video or post icon and select to upload video. Then you can choose whether you want the video to be public or unlisted, private or scheduled. I would suggest for the education purposes make it unlisted. Then click select files to upload. Find the video that you want to upload and click I'm doing that on a Mac so open and it shows you the progress bar of uploading your video. When the progress bar is done what you will do is you will click on the done button. So we're almost there and it's processing. So actually I'm going to click um, done to confirm that I wanted to do this and what it says is that the upload is complete it will be ready when it's done processing so you need to wait for it to be done processing you can stay on the page or you can come back it usually takes I don't know less than 15 minutes when your video is done processing it then shows that the URL where you will be able to find your video if you click on return to editing it then shows you this and if you go to the advanced settings you can make some choices here I suggest unless you want people to comment unchecking that because sometimes people can start posting ads on your site if you allow commenting you can decide whether you want people to rate it or not you can choose the license I like to choose Creative Commons now the next step is let's see what the video looks like so <clears throat> I'm going to click on the link your video will be live so I go there and there is the video this is you click to edit the video when you edit the video um, to add in closed captions what you will need to do because it's still in beta is to go to this little person leaving the room icon at the bottom left hand corner and click on that ignore this you don't have to tell them why you're leaving for now and click skip now you can go to where it says CC subtitles and you will notice that for now there are no sub automatic subtitles all it is giving me the option to do is to add new subtitles so you need to wait for a while until it is automatically closed captioned when it is it will actually have a little box here that says um, that, that says your captions are ready while you're waiting for your video to be processed you can see look through any of the other options here and when you have finished making any changes for example one I suggest you select your category as education if it's for an education class click to save the changes now when your video is finished processing you will see it's published and underneath it says that there are automatic um, closed captions because we're under the remember that we're under the closed captions here so the, the automatic captions are there so let's click on those to see what they look like and here they are now to edit them you click edit and when you click to edit it then allows you to come in and make changes so the first thing that I do is I capitalize and I punctuate so this is Helen period and I go through I can see even without playing the video that there's some edits that I need to make 
but what you do is you click to play and you listen to the, the audio ha happening to you, yourself talking if you're speaking and if it isn't correct you pause and make a change so let's try that this is Helen I'm going to show you how to get the embed code from a Padlet and embed it onto a Weebly page. <clears throat> so there's a pause there, so I'm going to put a period and a capital S. Um, and I keep going and change, making changes as I go. When you are done with closed captioning, you click to save the changes. and you will see that the automatic captions are there but the ones that you made are underneath in as it says english there it is